Good day, everyone. This is actually Diasetro, the most handsome African man that is married to a very beautiful queen. But that is not the discussion of today because the discussion of today is something that I call a mescora funkia blues. It's really painful when you discover that Africans are not thinking with their what? Medulla oblongata. How long do we need to call ourselves to order, to tell ourselves the basic truth that we need to love each other? Can't you get it? Outside there, they call us Africans, regardless of whatever the could be cool you have come from. Before I continue in this anger therapy, I would like to introduce my most Speringo Sparangos. I'm Jaquette Oluari Cetro, and it's a pleasure having you on Cetro's vlog today. Please, in case you're not yet subscribed, please support us by subscribing and pressing the no notification bell. I want to say thank you to all that have been liking, commenting, sharing, tweeting, retweeting. Please don't stop. A big thank you goes to all our patrons and supporters on this channel. And you can be part of our patrons for as low as $3 per month. Yeah. Mm. The word eight has been word really, really created by Mr. Cetrus Lintele, and that's the divide and rule tactics they've been using over the years in Africa. And right now, Ethiopians are suffering a lot because of this. How is it that Ethiopians, that are, they, they, they have different ethnic groups, just like we have in Nigeria, are now in the verge, at the verge of a civil war? Because of what? Just because of tribalism. I'm of this tribe, of this tribe. Whereas I have global friends on this platform that are not even from my continent, and I love them with passion, and we do things together. How? And I remember we have numerous Ethiopians as our subscribers. So it is painful when I discover that some few elements that are supposed to be in leadership position are actually not mending the net that has been placed amid them. It is high time we forget about class, clan, tribe, and all this ethnicity because it has not paid us. It is something that is useless. <sighs> How should a country stand against itself to the extent that the military are now what? They are now divided, fighting each other to stupor, to the extent that they are now calculating that missiles can even be used if care is not taken. The TPLF dominated Ethiopian politics for more than three decades, and says Abiy squeezed him out of the federal government when he came to power in 2018. Pressions on the streets of the tiny town of Dansha in northern Ethiopia. Residents came out to welcome federal forces who've just retaken the town from Tigray fighters. What we know was they had uh, some missiles which could go to 300 kilometers. That means they could strike Mac um, uh, Bahardar, Amara region. They could also strike Afar or they could strike uh, Asmara. That's easier. It was in their range. So that's why the government has to rush to destroy it. This is totally uncalled for. If you are an Ethiopian following this channel or you are seeing this video, we want to actually know the truth, the exact truth magnificento, to understand what is going on in Ethiopia. But do you know what? Whenever you mention the word Africa, even far as far back as BC and AD, you will hear the word Ethiopians and Egyptians mentioned there. But it is saddening and shocking to discover that this only African country that did not get colonized some group of persons now want to divide them against each other. Can you people of Ethiopia take a lesson from Rwanda? Rwanda went through this Throughout. nonsense. And thank God today, they were able to see that it is useless and baseless to continue on the, on the hate speech, on the, on the ethnic city, tribal prejudice and the likes today. They are what? They are forging ahead. Their economy is improving. The people there, they can testify to the fact that their liveliness or livelihood or lifestyle has improved. Africans, please, we are begging out on you. Let us forget about the boundaries because those boundaries were not put there by our forefathers. It was what? It was placed there by some external factors and they want to continue to see that we are divided so that our resources can easily be flowing into their ends, the 1% globalists. Please, let's spread the love. 
Let's spread the joy message to Ethiopians at this time. If you know any Ethiopian around you or those of you in Ethiopia at this time and you're watching this, please love your brother. That's the way out. Love the next person to you. You're same. You're one and same. That might be the person that will save your life tomorrow. Don't kill that life. You did not give the life. Lives are being lost. Please. How oh, I wish I could help. But... There is little or nothing I can do than to help spread the word out there for people to help Ethiopia at this point in time to desist from this war. Nigeria has had a taste. We have had a taste of civil war before and we do not want to experience such again because thousands of babies, thousands and millions of people were affect affected by it to the extent that the numerous pictures of, of hunger in Africa were speaked from the gory pictures they took from the eastern part of Nigeria. Please, we beg of you, rethink. Sit together. Real men do not use gun to think. They use their brain to settle matters. Both sides, sit down, settle the matters because... I would love to visit Ethiopia. I was still praying for you guys when they were talking about your dam. Only for me to hear this. This is not, this is totally uncalled for. In peace we reign. In peace we have success, establishment, expansion. But in war, people will start shipping their gun. The guns they cannot use in their place. They will manufacture this gun and start selling it to your people for you to begin to fight one another. Please, don't make your country the selling ground for ammunition. Yeah, the message we have to Ethiopians at this time is that of what? Joy, love, hope, and what? Peace. Please, let's stop the hate. Tell someone to tell someone that we are all same. And I want to tell you, all they're trying to do at this time, all that we are going through in this world is just to destabilize us, to take away your joy. Remember the joy therapy? Joy cures it all. And don't forget to be happy from within you. That kills all that we're going through at this time. So, so we come your way next time. I would just say, try to hug someone today, especially someone from your other tribe, and let peace reign. Thank you so very much. Remain the Cetros. You may like to watch this video or this.